Well, many wonder why some people choose not to report allegations of harassment right away. And for those who have experienced it, that question is all too common. Lauren Savan was not an employee or seeking an employment, employment from Harvey Weinstein, but she still felt reluctant to go public about him. We're back, back now with Lauren and with New York Times contributor and author of New Girl on the Job, Advice from the Trenches, Hannah Seligson, along with victims' rights attorney and professor of sexual violence law at New England Law, Wendy Murphy. Welcome all. Lauren, what about that? Why not, why not go public? Why not go to the cops? Why not... At the time, I, I had this great job. Um, I was an anchor in my hometown station on Long Island. I was living with my boyfriend in the city. I had this great life. I didn't know what going public would do for me. Um, I was lucky enough to never have to deal with him again. I didn't work with him. I didn't need anything from him. So I didn't have to contact him again. And also there's that feeling that I'm sure so many women feel of shame, of perhaps I did something to give him the wrong impression. Maybe I was flirty or maybe I gave him the wrong impression and that's why this happened. I know he called you the next day at your TV station. That was, didn't have your phone number, that's what you say. And, and how did that go? That was so crazy because the next day after I fled, basically, he called my station. They said, I have Harvey Weinstein on the line for you and my heart sank. And he said, I just wanna let you know, I had a great time last night. <sighs> Excuse me? Yeah, I had a great time last night. Uh, I'm going away overseas on a trip. I would love to see you again, if that's something we could do. I said, absolutely not. I told you yesterday, I have a very serious boyfriend. Absolutely not. And I, I'm pretty sure I just hung up the phone quickly after. It was a very short conversation, but that was the, the most shocking part. Hannah, the... She was not in an employment situation, so table the Lauren story for the, for the moment. I find it very irritating when you get the, why didn't you go to HR? Yeah. You know, do you live in this world? Do you understand the realities of the power imbalance in, in a given workplace? Yes, and as we know from the New York Times reporting, the HR departments at the Weinstein Company were not very strong. But I think this kind of blaming the victim mentality is really wrong. Why are we not asking, why did people higher up in the company not know that he was doing this or turning a blind eye? Why were they so complicit? Or was there a safe avenue for reporting? Was HR a safe right. place? Right. Could I expect to but be protected? We know what the law says. They can't retaliate, but the reality may be something different. But how can you expect 22-year-old women to challenge someone who has so much power, so much money, so much authority? We have to put better safeguards in place so women feel comfortable coming forward. Because, Wendy, as a practical matter, they're not allowed to retaliate against you if you report. But the, the fear when you have a powerful alleged harasser is that it will be a whisper campaign against you. There are ways of retaliating that aren't explicit. Yes, and there are ways of retaliating that don't look like retaliation. It's kind of a slow burn and your career can be ruined. Mm -hmm. um, nevertheless, I really feel strongly that women should report everything for a lot of reasons, including that your single incident might be one of many and everyone feels like they're the only one. But if you report, then you start to see, oh, I'm not alone. There are other reports. And then the possibility of retaliation is diminished because it's a lot harder to retaliate against five or 10 women mm -hmm. than one. But you won't know you're the only victim unless you tell. What about you, Lauren? I mean, you, you say you saw other women coming out. And even just today, Meryl Streep, who had been you know, a proponent of his, she called him God at one of the Academy Awards, has come out and said, not everyone knew. She said, I didn't know. Do you think we'll see more? Absolutely. I, I'm positive that more women will come forward, that, that I am not alone, that um, it, it was kind of a horrible kept secret in Hollywood that he had this type of behavior. Um, people would whisper about it all the time. So I, I agree with Wendy. It takes people that work with him to come out and say, hey, something's wrong here. And when you're God, people aren't going to do that mm -hmm. when, when you're the big man, not just the boss of his company, but you have to understand he was a titan in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. He could ruin people's careers if he didn't like you. Safety in numbers, Hannah. Reaching out to your fellow colleagues uh, at the office or elsewhere. How important is that? Strength in numbers. I mean, we see from the New York Times report, I mean, that's what led to this watershed firing of, of Harvey Weinstein. This issue dies in darkness. And, um, you know, I would just say strength in numbers and that, but that even one voice matters. And I would also say too, I mean, I hope more women will come forward, but I think, and Wendy and I were speaking about this, the NDA issue, the non-disclosure 
issue of having to sign and say you will not say anything, I think really puts a, a clamp on mm -hmm. transparency. We saw that at, you know, at Fox News, and by the way, Fox News has its problems, but it's not the only place. There are a lot of places that need to do a self-examination. Um, and women started violating those, saying, you know what, I'm gonna tell my story. And as far as I know, they didn't get sued. Uh, but it's a dicey thing to make the women shut up to take the payment to go away. It can, it can get the woman in a place where she's lost her First Amendment right to talk about what happened to her. Uh, and yet many feel powerless to do anything other than ex accept the check and go away. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you both. We're going to continue this conversation on Facebook Live right after this show today. Facebook.com slash Megyn Kelly with our panel. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.